Hi, Budget Reloader coming to you from the upstate with another budget reloading tip. Well, this time I'm not reloading live rounds, I'm creating dummy shotgun shell rounds. Uh, reason being is I, uh, I finally went to a three gun match and participated. Uh, I'd say competed, but that's, uh, that's the wrong term. I was really practicing. And I got hooked on it, and one of the things I learned is that you have to practice shotgun reloading as fast as possible and there's uh, multiple ways of uh, reloading doesn't matter which way you choose but what you're going to need is some good representative dummy rounds uh, you do not want to practice with live shells absolutely unless you're on the range and you can have your muzzle pointed safely down range in case there's a discharge and if you practice with live rounds you will probably have a discharge so dummy shells are the way to go you can practice in your house without fear of uh, destroying anything. So I already made a bunch of these and I I cut the the crimp off and uh, I'll go through the steps here. You take the primer out, you need a hot glue gun um, and so forth. But what I found, and this is one I had to tear apart because um, these uh, flush cut versions, if they catch the edge of the chamber, they're they'll tear out like that and then that's no longer going to function in the gun and so that's garbage. So um, I watched the friends, I watched a bunch of videos and they all had good aspects uh, to them and what I found is like the dummy shells you can buy are really expensive and they don't have the weight or balance of a real shell um, and this is much cheaper you can do it with pretty much junk you have lying around your house. Uh, one thing you want to do is knock the primer out. So here's one that still has the primer in it. I got my little 1911 block, but you can use a piece of wood with a hole in it. And I put that over the hole. And you want to make sure that you are on the center of the primer. Otherwise, you're going to pound the hole in the base of your shell and probably ruin it. You do want these to function in the chamber. All right, so pop that out. And these primer shotgun primers, it's like a large rifle primer inside of a little carrier cup or something, I don't know. So they're bigger than normal. So that one's uh, ready in the process. And what you want to do to simulate the balance is you want to put basically wadding in here. Um, if you save the waddings from, uh, from uh, field shoots and whatnot, you can, I'm told you can reuse them. Uh, but if you don't have that, just get your batch of uh, shredded paper. And I've got a push stick here that has some calibrated marks. This was without the crimp on it, and this is with the crimp. And basically, you just, you know, stuff it full of paper and push it down until you get the right mix. And I've already done this one and crimped it. I hope I don't miss my crimp up. So I've met my mark there. That's what I intended. And so then the next step, um, well, you want to, now that you got it stuffed, you know, this is the right amount, uh, you want to fill this um, primer pocket with hot glue. And that gives you a nice cushiony area for your um, firing pin to hit into. And it will prevent any damage to your firearm. And you want to go ahead and fill it kind of proud and then you'll trim it later so that it's flush so that your firing pin will hit it and cushion the blow. Um, if you leave the primer in there then your firing pin is not going to hit anything and you'll start to peen parts of the firing pin against whatever it stops against which is not the primer presumably uh, or eventually so you want to have this uh, cushion there so I'm going to let that set uh, actually that was the one I need to use so the next step um, is to fill this with BBs. Uh, I guess you could use lead shot, but it's more expensive. And, um, you know, this is the hardest video I've had to make. Uh, I've spilled the BBs uh, several times. And if you use steel BBs, then you want to have a magnet because it'll pick up the BBs for you real quick. So I'm really kind of stalling here for this hot glue to dry because um, I did not prepare a sample with that's already done. Maybe I'll push this against the plastic here. Oh, that's good enough. Alright. So, um, 
you need to trim that flush so that it will sit flat on the scale because we're going to weigh this out to be as precise precisely representative as possible which is the goal I'm not going to say it's going to have the absolute perfect weight or perfect balance but it's going to be better than what you can buy in the store so get your scale weigh a real live round I know it's like 1.56 ounces and I love these little Dixie cups because you can push them in the shape you need acts like a kind of pouring funnel and just pour them in slowly till you get and watch your readout till you get your desired weight and that's good enough so um, like I said I looked at a lot of films and I cut the crimps off some people do that uh, I don't recommend that because again you can uh, tear out the edge so I watched a good friend of mine and, and he has a YouTube channel I don't know how you say that Oskinofi uh, this guy's like the MacGyver of firearms. I'll put his link in the comments so you'll have a, a real link. Um, this guy here is, is good for, uh, it's just a little spigot nozzle. Uh, I found it has to be the right size to round the shells out if you get a deformed shell. And then I found this other thing and I'm finding more uses for it. This is for the opposite. This is to close it down. This just happens to be the exact diameter of a shotgun shell. It's some old shower head. Uh, I don't know what to tell you where to find this or how to get one, but you might be able to make something out of pipe or whatever, machine it yourself. I also found this is useful for, for closing the crimp because I had a really hard time with that. So I've got it full of BBs, and, and you want to kind of pre-crimp it, and then once you put the BBs in, you know, re-crimp it again because you want to kind of simulate that original factory crimp and if you if you watch this guy's video he'll show you how he does it he does it without that little shower head tool uh, I could not simulate that you still are going to use hot glue though in the end but just not very much so you've kind of got this and it's hard to get this to fold in perfectly but you want to kind of get it close and and he just turned it over I don't know how he did it without spilling the BBs but he turned he got it real close and turned it over pushed it on the table I found it this thing you put it over there and boom push down and voila perfect so then and this is critical uh, you want to put your hot glue gun on your low setting and I'll tell you why because if you try now we're gonna it's starting to come back so take a little pusher stick and really mash it back in on itself like that. That is perfect. And then you want to even come back and crimp it. And the reason being is the hot glue gun will relax these crimps and you'll have it fold out on you. And so you actually want to reverse crimp it really strongly. And and now you still have this nice edge here and you can like re-round it with the tool again. So it's not round. Get that on there and give it a little twist. I made a lot of mistakes. I was using a heat gun and a torch and I melted the edges and uh, it gets real messy. So here we are. And another little crimp. And then we're ready to fill this. And you don't want to fill it flush. You just want enough in there to seal it and prevent the BBs from coming out and prevent your crimp from... Uh, coming out so like I say if you have your glue gun at too high a temperature it will actually relax that and I already had that done the petals will start to come back that's probably not going to work let's see size that we'll see and you want to make sure you don't have any uh, when the glue settles you don't want to have any glue around the edges because it's sticky and it'll stick in the chamber. So that's basically it. That's the DIY shotgun dummy shell. Uh, one thing I did note is uh, some of these would not extract. So I just took a Dremel tool with a uh, impregnated rubber wheel, diamond wheel, and just went around here. And it didn't take very much and you can use sandpaper or whatever and knock this down if, it, if you have these stick in your chamber it's probably 
the the brass base expanded or I don't know what this is brass or aluminum it expanded and and fits tight in the chamber so just knock that diameter down just a little bit enough to where it, it functions properly in your gun and if it's not real round here when you do chamber it in the gun it will eventually shape this up and then you can also use a little sandpaper on it to uh, to knock down any of the, the high spots and it should function well in your shotgun and then uh, what you want to do is candy cane it or identify it um, this guy he used like a different color like a clear color shell that he never uses uh, I didn't have enough of those um, and then you never know when you may start using that so that's no good but I basically just take a, a paint sharpie here and just roll it and give it a nice candy cane so I know if I'm looking at it anywhere I'll see that silver and know that it's a dummy round or you can write dummy on it a couple places but anyway that's what I've done there you go thanks guys